How's it going guys? I am Connor from Running Warehouse. Today I'm here with Liz and we are reviewing the new Brooks Catamount. Now Brooks has been bringing the heat in 2020 and it all started with the Hyperion Tempo. It was that performance road shoe that featured their new midsole compound, DNA Flash. And I kept thinking, when is DNA Flash gonna make it into other models? Now we finally have the Catamount. It's here and it's in a performance trail shoe. Liz, trying this shoe on, what were your first initial impressions? I really enjoyed this shoe. It's light, it's nimble, it still has enough protection where you can really go any distance in it. And uh, that upper just provides a great fit. I have a narrow heel and a wide forefoot, and it did a great job of securing my foot while leaving some room for my toes. Yeah, you know, the Tempo was one of my favorite shoes earlier in 2020. When I heard there's gonna be a trail version, I got so excited, and it really delivered on everything I wanted. That simple design, low to the ground nimble, but also very responsive. You know, the Catamount just killed it. Uh, in every department when I was looking to go fast or even sometimes a little bit longer. Now, taking a look at this midsole, we've got the DNA flash. That's really what is so special about this shoe. What were your thoughts getting the miles in? How did this shoe perform on the trails? So I also ran in the Hyperion Tempo, uh, but I actually like this foam even more in the Catamount. It really gives you enough protection from rocks underfoot, but it still is very responsive. You can really feel confident running over a lot of different types of terrain and know that you can pick up the pace if you want to. Yeah, and you talk about protection. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of stack, but it does have that rock plate, which is just gonna help prevent a little bit of stone bruising. And then of course, you've got a decent amount of DNA flash to uh, give a little bit extra protection. And that DNA flash, I was very concerned if it was actually gonna give the same responsiveness that you saw on the roads, but getting it on the trails, you get a nice pop. You know, it really delivered uh, on the trails. Moving on down to the outsole, we've got a, a versatile design, not huge lugs. What were your thoughts on traction? The outsole is really sticky. So it did do well on like hard rock, but I definitely feel like I would have enjoyed a little bit deeper lugs for some of the looser terrain that we have right now. When it was hard packed with some gravel on top, I did get a little slipping, especially on the steeper trails. Yeah, for how shallow they are, I was actually impressed that it did deliver pretty good traction, but for technical terrain, for stuff that uh, does require a little bit more grip. Uh, the shoe didn't necessarily perform the best, but I used it for fire rows, I used it for moderate trails, and it performs really well. So really the shoe is only gonna be limited on the most technical terrain. Moving on to the upper, we've got a trail specific design, pretty thin. What were your thoughts on the fit? So the fit worked really well for me. I do have a wider foot and I did feel a little pressure at first, but that shoe broke in after a couple of runs and ended up being really comfortable. The gusseted tongue didn't cause any hot spots, any discomfort, but it really helped just give that secure, snug, kind of locked down fit. Overall, I really enjoyed that it provided a nice performance fit while still allowing enough room in toes. Yeah, and I like you talked about the gusseted tongue because that was the first thing I felt when I get, got this on foot. It's so soft and really provides a nice snug, locked in fit. When I was on the trails, bombing down hills, I never felt like I was falling out of the shoe. And one of the key features of this upper is just how simple it is. It kind of reminds me of a road upper, but with just a little bit of uh, support with the overlays, a little bit of extra protection, but a very simple design. And of course in the heel, we've got this gator attachment. I didn't use this just cause, you know, the trails aren't too crazy out here, but if you need the gator attachment, it's available. Overall upper, simple, but a great addition to the shoe. So for me, the Catamount was a staple in my lineup. I think I used it most for some faster days on the trails, even some long runs up to about 15 miles. If you're looking for a lot of protection, probably some better shoes out there, but if you're just looking for a fast, nimble performance shoe, Catamount's gonna kill it. Liz, what were your thoughts? Is this a shoe you're gonna continue to use in your lineup? I will continue to use it. Uh, the lower drop didn't quite work with an old injury that I have. Uh, it definitely aggravated my arch a little bit, but other than that, I just love how light the shoe is. I love how nimble it is. It provides just the perfect amount of protection for pretty much any trail. So I'll keep running in it for sure. Well, awesome. I think the Catamount is gonna be a shoe that a lot of people are gonna wanna try out. Really, I think it's the first trail shoe that is using one of these kind of new age foams. Very unique experience. If you're looking to get this shoe on your feet, it's available now here at Running Warehouse.